This is a tutorial on how to score on the Ubuntu practice image number one. So first we have to just log into the computer with the given password. Just click ask me later since we're not scoring this in this particular image. The first thing to do is just click on the readme and read through the file. So we can see that in the readme it says media related files and gaming related programs are prohibited. And any hacking tools and non-secure applications are not allowed. So that gives us a clue that we should remove any applications that relate to any of this. Here is a list of authorized administrators on the usernames on the left, passwords on the right. So any users here should be administrators and any users not on here should not be administrators. Here is a list of all the users that are authorized to be on this computer. And any users that are not on any of these lists should be removed from the computer. The first step is to go to the forensics questions and answer them because if we can make any changes to this computer before answering them, they might not be able to answer these questions. The first question asks for um, the name of a video file on this account. So let's look through all the files by clicking files and find the video file. So looking through this, we see that there's a there's a video file right here. We simply type favorite game that MP4 since that's the name of the file. Save that and wait for the notification. Let's look on the scoring report to see whenever we get the points. So right here, this lets us know that we got a point. If you refresh the page here, we see that we got this question correct. So let's do the second one. This question asks for the version of Firefox that's installed on this computer. So the easiest way to find out the version of Firefox is by clicking right here, then clicking on this question mark, then clicking about Firefox. Right here, we get a version of Firefox, so just cop copy that. Go right here, paste it in, save the question. So we'll be given the points in a second. So the next thing to do is, I'll just move this to the left. We have to look through all the users and make the criteria, criteria match all the users right here. So going through these, so we look at this account. First, we have to, in order to make changes to the accounts, we have to click the unlock button and just type in the password. So we can just copy the password here, paste that in, and authenticate. So th this user is supposed to be an administrator, but right now it's listed as standard, so we can change that to administrator. On to the next one. Same thing. This account already is logged in, so it's most likely already administrator, which it says it is. This account already has administrator, so that means we have to change nothing here. All of these accounts are most likely already password protected with all these accounts. With all these passwords. So if we look at the scoring report right here. All the stuff right here is listed. So let's look through all of the other ones right here. So this one states that it's an administrator, even though it's not listed right here. But it's listed on this list, so that means you have to just change it to standard. For the next one, we check that. It's already standard, so we don't need to change anything. This one as well. And this account doesn't actually exist on the system right now. What we have to do is just click plus and type in the name of the new account. Just add that right here. Now we wait a little bit for some of the scoring to work. Yeah, so gave us points for adding that account. So now we have to look through all the accounts and see which accounts are not allowed to be on this computer. So looking, this account does not seem to be on any of these lists. So all we have to do is just click minus. And I'll remove it from this account. Seems as though this is complete, so we can move on to the next thing. The next thing is to remove prohibited media files and other applications that are not allowed to be on this computer. So this, this is a media file, so it's most likely not allowed on this computer. So what we have to do is just click delete. I'll delete the file. 
And this is also prohibited, so all we have to do is just click delete. So we'll wait for that to be scored. And while we're doing that, we're going to move on to the applications. So as we can see on the desktop, we have two different applications. They may or might not be this way on the actual competition. But th this is usually a good giveaway that these should not be on the computer. So in order to remove these applications, go into Terminal by clicking right here, searching Terminal. And we just got points. Yep, we removed the prohibited media files. Okay. So now we have to remove all these applications since they're, since they're not allowed to be on this computer. So to do that, we do sudo apt remove double dash purge and then we type the name of the application. Just type in the password for this account. Type in Y. And that should remove the application. You do the same thing for Nmap. And now, in order to finish all this, do auto remove, which gets rid of any remaining files related to any of these applications. So now we'll wait for the score. Okay, so we're done. We have 11 out of 12. So the last one, the last criterion on this image, is to install something called GUFW, which is a, f a graphical front end to the firewall, which allows you to manage the firewall on this computer easier. Just simply install that. And that should just give us points in a second. Okay, so we have all the possible points that can be obtained on this image. 12 out of 12, 33 points. So just in case you change anything related to this, so if we change this to a 1 for example, while it's already been scored, we will be given a notification that we lost points. So, we, don't, we only have 11 out of 12 security issues fixed. Or if you do something that should not be done on this computer, for example, either remove this forensics questions file, we can just rename that, so that the system can't recognize it, or change an unauthorized account to say this, this should not be an admin. This account should not be an admin, but what if, if we change it to administrator? So we, we got the penalty for removing this file. We also get a penalty for changing this to an admin, which this should not be. So just in order to fix it, just revert whatever you did. Just make this file exist. If you end up deleting any files and you can't recover them, you're going to have to restart the complete image. And just back. Okay, well. Okay, so we got rid of the penalty. This one should be gone in a second. We got, we got a game. And we don't have any more penalties, so we have the full score. 